Hey guys, so I'm doing my nightly routine and for people who always ask, this is a dust mask. I'm very allergic to hay, so I find this helps a ton. What also helps is having the air purifier running. So anyway, we're going to get started with our nightly routine. So first things first, I give out medications. Bullseye gets his tummy med. He gets this twice a day. And I have to do the medication first because otherwise I might forget. So it's the first thing I do in the morning, first thing I do at night, just so I can remember that I did it. So the other medications are Medicam, Gas Drops, and Glucosamine for Willie. So it takes a second to give them to Willie. Since he can't see, sometimes it's hard to get his attention in the right direction. Good boy. So the last one I'm giving him is glucosamine and he really doesn't like it. So what I do with that is, he also gets a joint support tab. So I pretend that I'm going to let him bite down on the joint support tab, but slip the glucosamine in there first. Oh, this was, why is this one not working? This glucosamine, for whatever reason, sure gunks up these syringes. Yeah, that one's not working either. What the heck? Okay, this one is. Okay, so we're going to give him this and his little joint support tab. Everywhere, except where it was supposed to go. Well, some of that I think it went on my hand because he does not like that, and I think he spit it out. Let's go wash my hands. So, next up, we are doing cage cleaning. Well, not full cleaning, but spot cleaning. So this is Bullseye and Angus. I usually do them first just to, they're the most chatty and sometimes Bullseye will chew the bars. So if I get them tidied up and give them their fresh hay, then they're occupied. Cause it's after everybody's done that I give them cucumber. So I like to make sure these guys are set up first.
Okay, that's one cage down and they actually don't need any more hay. They have a whole pile. So next is Bun Bun. He gets his other portion of pellet. He gets just over an eighth of a cup a day, I'd say. I split it between morning and night. And I have switched him to the stay bowl. He really likes it. And one of the benefits for the stay bowl for him is when he moves it around, it doesn't make a loud noise. Before, he had another ceramic dish for his pellets, and he'd move it around and smack it off of things, and it would always scare the pigs, especially if it hit his ceramic water dish. It'd make a loud cling. So now he can move that stable wherever he would like, and it's not noisy. He seems to really enjoy it, and he hasn't chewed on it. I know a couple people said that their rabbits had chewed theirs. I don't notice any marks, so that's good. Okay, so now Willie's going to get tidied up. Just gotta sweep up the little poops here. So Willie is still wobbly. He's just, he's been doing better for not falling down. I think just learning to cope better, but he's definitely still busy. But he hasn't lost any weight. And he still eats and drinks and has no problems that way, so we're good. Aren't we, buddy? Okay, we're going to switch this liner over. It's a bit wet on top so we'll switch it to the other side this is double layer of u-haul so if one side feels a bit wet i flip it over to the other side and then come morning time i'll switch them to a totally fresh one but now this top feels nice and dry hey buddy okay i'm just gonna get him a bit more hay just a tiny bit. He still has quite a pile. There we go. Okay, so that's Willie done. So next is Huckle and Apple. So it's going to tidy up their places where they sleep first at the back part of their cage. Generally speaking, these guys poop the most up at the front where they eat. So this back part of the cage is always pretty quick to spot clean up. It's the front part of the cage that I usually have to put down a new liner for more often, which is fine. We're going to get them a new pad for their cube. Hi, sweetheart. Can you get a fresh little pad there? Just going to set that off to the side so that we can clean the front part now. Let's move what hay is okay out of the way, what hay we're going to be saving. And some of this will be getting tossed out sadly because like all pigs, if they're sleeping on it, they're pooping and peeing on it. So these guys mainly poop and pee right underneath where their hay rack is. That's where they like to sleep the most. So actually probably going to put some pads underneath there so that they have something fresh to lay on tonight.
Maybe we'll just flip this whole liner over. Okay, excuse me, little doodle bugs. Look out, Apple. Don't be flipping this. So yeah, kind of the same thing that I did with Lily. Flip the liner and then tomorrow morning I'll just take it off and give them a fresh one. Because now this top part that's facing up is dry. Put your little pile of hay back. Put your cubie back. There we go. So next we're cleaning up um, Nami and Raisin. So these girls are kind of like the same as Huckle and Apple. Up at the front of their cage is where it's always the most wet. And I'm going to actually clean this whole front liner because this morning we already flipped their two little liners and I can just tell it seems like a mess. Hey, little Ray Ray, you gotta move. Good girl. There you go. Okay, so we're putting down a whole fresh liner and then a couple more fresh little liners because by morning I'll definitely need to change the little liners over. This is right where they're eating. These two girls just pee the most and it gets fairly wet. So just put some of their hay back there that they can pick through and then we'll tidy this back part. So these two girls are always the shyest when you're cleaning or spot cleaning. You gotta be careful that you don't move too fast or spook them because Raisin will jump, like uh, try to jump up on top of things, like jump on a tunnel or jump on a cube that Nanaimo's in. Like she just kind of gets freaked out even though we do the same things all the time. Luckily, they're just hanging out on the other side of the cage here, being calmer tonight, but sometimes it's like Raisin's just looking for a place to hide if you take out all the tunnels at one time to spot clean, so I definitely always have to keep one side with stuff where they can feel secure, or else both of them just spaz right out. They've never been any different, though. Hey, crazy girl. Okay, so now we're on to the herd cage. So I do 
start at one side and work my way down. These guys usually need new pads every morning and night for their beds, especially these ones on this end. So that's where they sleep the most is on that side. So we'll put a fresh one in our cube. Beep, beep. So this is something that Willie has started to do to the bars if he feels like nobody's paying attention to him over there. So I just move them and move hay in kind of in front of them because it just becomes like a little bit of an obsessive thing where he just won't stop chewing and it's not healthy for him. So I just put the hay in front, move them, and then he'll just go eat some hay and forget about it. Holy doodle cakes, look at what you guys took out of your hay rack. That's crazy. What are you little stinkers doing? Wasting hay or what? going to change their pads too. Sometimes it's just easier to change the pads than sweep them up when they look like a big mess. Just easier to shake them off and have clean ones. these guys will be getting any more hay tonight because that huge pile they can just eat instead of wasting. Put this one in the center, put your little Massive pay pile back on there. Look at that, guys. Crazy crackers. Okay. Now we were moving on to the back half of the cage. This side seems to be the one that they don't use as much as the other side for sleeping. Okay, so now that everybody's tidy, it's time for their after tidy snack. So 
I give out cucumber. Cucumber for the pigs and then Seymour gets kale. So let's do the pigs first. There you go, boy. Here you are. There you go, Will. You waiting for yours, Bumbine? Actually, I got Dill here. We'll use that up instead before it goes bad. Dill doesn't seem to last too long for some reason. Kale lasts quite a long time when you put it in water. He's always so funny about stuff. Just depends. Sometimes he'll leave it for a bit and eat it later. Oh, maybe we're gonna have a snack of it. He's a funny guy. Oh, we like that. So yeah, Bun's treat is always in a herb or kale. Okay, so the next thing I need to do is sweep off. There's so much hay down here. And I think on the weekend today's thursday i'm gonna vacuum again doesn't take long for like seymour's fur to kind of line around the trim on the baseboards so i'm just gonna sweep up tonight but do a deeper clean later 